One of the things people first associate with increasing productivity in laser powder bed fusion is increasing the number of lasers working at any one time. The full field lasers on the Metafab 1 have many advantages, as all the lasers effectively work as one, meaning no visual stitching lines on parts or overlap regions where the part is scanned twice, leaving undesirable material properties. In this episode, find out how additive industries provide the user the ability to control all these lasers exactly in the way they want, while still ensuring quality. Yeah, the MetalFab 1 system was from the outset designed to be a modular system. Uh, this enables the customer to optimize their MetalFab to their specific needs. Uh, this means, for instance, that they can use multiple build chambers to allow for the use of multiple materials, uh, but also to increase the number of lasers in the system uh, for a higher uh, capacity. An additional advantage of the modular design is that it allows us to upgrade existing modules uh, or even uh, integrate uh, completely new functionalities into existing metal fab systems, even on the customer side. Well, we got the machine in 2016 and within a year we started noticing we got more orders than the machine could produce. By moving from two to four lasers, we were able to ramp up our production and we were able to service our customers very well. So the nice thing about this machine is that when I leave our shop for the weekend, I come back on Monday and the whole storage is filled with products. The level of automation from this machine is beyond anything else. One of the big advantages of the MetalFab 1 is that you can add modules. So you start small and you build big. The machine is able to be controlled from a home situation and even at night, the service team is available for support. For K3D, productivity is key. Besides being productivity leader, additive industries aim so high part quality. In order to find the best balance between desired part quality and productivity, we develop the dynamic laser assignment tool, or in short, DLA. You see here a build job with one part, which has been optimized in DLA for a four laser system. With the playback function in the bottom left corner, you can see how the lasers have been assigned to the scanning vectors within a selected job layer. In this case, layer 1. The four lasers, displayed here in different colors, show how they scan the part. It is very clear to see how laser interaction is kept at a minimum. Each of the lasers is avoiding the condensates, indicated by the grey trails, as well as the spatter regions, indicated by the orange boxes of the other lasers. This ensures a high part quality at maximized productivity by using all four lasers at the same time. On the right hand side, the user can easily change the optimization settings. For example, how many lasers are used, how the spatial shape of laser condensate and spatter look like, or how strong laser interactions should be penalized. After each calculation, DLA provides the user with productivity data, like total layer scan time and laser efficiency. As you see, DLA is completely configurable to the user requirements and end-use application. If no laser interactions required, this choice can easily be made. But for certain part geometries, it may not be possible to use all four lasers at the same time. If productivity is the highest requirement, DLA will find the scanning configuration that provides the highest use of all lasers with the absolute minimum of laser interaction. Hi, my name is Darren Beck. I'm the CTO of Sigma Labs. I am very honored and proud to bring you the Printlite 3D solution for MetalFab 1 quad laser. Printlite 3D in the MetalFab 1 allows process monitoring of a part throughout the build. This allows quality measurement, statistical control of the process, and build analysis. In this video, we see the 2D visualization of the Printrite 3D software, and we can step through the layers to view layer per layer of visualization. Hitting the play button will begin scrolling through the layers allowing the user to view the 2D visualization as the parts are built. Next we move to the 2D visualization of cubes built using the MetalFab 1 that use all four lasers. Clicking the 3D icon will display a 3D mesh of the completed build. We can navigate around the build plate and the parts to fully visualize the build. 
The 3D representation will highlight the current layer selected and display any anomalies within the 3D space allowing the designers and process engineers to better understand what occurred during the build process. Once a build is complete and its data has finished processing, a set of statistical process control, exploratory data analysis charts are generated for each part. These are designed to provide even more useful analysis of a build, using the PrintWrite 3D metrics as the input. In this view, we can adjust the scaling of the chart to better visualize anomalous layers and determine if there is a trend that can be corrected with the MetalFab1 system. We can add and remove parts from the visualization to perform comparisons of the individual parts within the build. The PrintWrite 3D software also includes an array of additional analysis options that can be used to highlight areas in the build that may be building outside of the process parameter specifications. Here we see the live analysis window showing the TEP metric values. We can set the values of TEP that would be outside of the specifications and run the analysis. It will then highlight the areas that match the values that are outside of the parameter specifications. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please come back next week to learn how we maintain the quality of parts no matter where they are built on the large platform of the MetaFab one.